What we're going to do now is use the digital tools from Pearson, the place value blocks, to help us solve problem number three on the guided practice, 546 minus 271. First thing that you're going to want to do is at the bottom, you're going to select the three-part workspace because these numbers have three place values. We're going to make the menu end, the larger number, 546, out of place value blocks, and we are going to put them up here on the top half of our chart. We're going to uh, make four rods for the 40, and we're going to make six units for the six and 546. To do that, uh, quickly, I'm going to take a rod, I'm going to move it over into the ones, I'm going to take a hammer, I'm going to break it into ten ones, I'm going to hit the pointer, select, and if you notice the um, the units were, are now deselected. So I can take the eraser and I can get rid of one, two, three, four because 10 minus 4 is 6, and then hit the pointer again, and just move it so I can tell um, that that's a 6 by looking at it because it's in a 10 frame um, format. I'm going to go ahead and hit this triangle here to kind of hide that, because we don't need to take any more place value blocks. So I'm going to kind of rearrange this a little bit so it's easier to tell what it is that we're doing. And we have 546. Just to double check, just to make sure, um, I'm going to come down here to the bottom, change display format. I'm going to click it twice. Uh, 546, I am correct. So we're going to go ahead and subtract by moving part of the 546 down to the bottom half of our chart. So 271, we're going to start with the ones, and we can take one from the six and just shift it down. And if you notice, we still have 546. We only subtracted one, um, but we didn't get rid of it. We just kind of moved it down. So this number should remain the same. Now we're trying to take seven tens away from four tens. We cannot do that. So we're going to take a, um, a flat, bring it over to the tens place, take the hammer, smash it, take the arrow, click so everything's deselected. I'm going to just kind of, uh, it's called lassoing. I'm going to lasso five, and I'm going to move them down. That's a little bit in the bottom half, so I'm going to kind of move it up a little bit. So we have four and we have 10, so we have 14 tens. And now we can move seven down. So we've got four, five, six, and seven in the bottom half. Notice we didn't take anything away. We didn't add anything. We're just shifting the place value blocks around. And as a result, 546, that's still what we have. We took a flat yes and broke it into 10, 10 rods, but we still kept all of those rods. So this number at the bottom should not change. And now we need to subtract two flats or 200. So we're just going to bring them down. So if you notice, again, we still have 546. So the bottom half plus the top half is going to equal the sum. The bottom half here is 271. That is the subtrahend of our subtraction problem. The top half is what we have left over which is going to be the difference of our subtraction problem. And that would be 200, 
75. 